Hello Panthers, this is Mr. Nandas, the Tech Teacher, and welcome to our third nine weeks, quarter three, week one, Microsoft Word assignment. This assignment is for all students, kinder, all the way to fifth grade. Let's go to my website to get started. Panthers, I'm here on my website, and just understand this example in this video will show a third, fourth, fifth grade example using a third grade student, but the idea is pretty much the same. Kinders, first, and second graders, you'll get a slightly um, easier version of this, but we're all going to the same place. So we're going to my website to get started. Um, we're going to look for this button, Microsoft Office. Okay, I've sent you this work plus others already in a special folder for you. It's called a OneDrive folder in your Microsoft Office account. It's pretty much what we use to sign in with um, Clever and Canvas. It's the same account. And so we're going to click on this orangey button. We're going to click on this orange button on the left that says sign in. For this example today, I'm going to use a third grade student. I'm going to pause for a moment and be right back. All right, Panthers, I'm signed in with a student account. If you see your name, thank you for letting me borrow your account for this example. But yeah, we'll just uh, sign in. If you've done some of this work before with me with other assignments, it might already get you into this page right away. But if you had to sign in with your last name, first name, lcps.net and all that stuff, your password, then just go ahead and do that. It's going to take you to this home page. Now we're looking on the, um, it, there's a couple ways to get to the work. We can click on the left hand corner and click on OneDrive. And so I might do that for some of you, but also for some of you, if we see the work right away, because right in the middle, the work usually shows up. And so right here, it says leadership vision. So three, uh, five for third, fourth, and fifth. My younger grades, it'll show a different one, but you can just click here and it'll open the work. I'm gonna click it there. That's the easy way, number one, to get into the work. Okay, and it loads and it's ready to work. Or we can click on these nine dots. Some of you uh, actively work in this account and so sometimes you don't see the stuff I send you right away. And so you have to click on the nine dots, click on OneDrive, you click on Shared on the left hand side Oh, no, you don't click on shared. Scratch that, sorry. Right here, right away, it says your grade level computer lab and then 22-23 for the school year. 2022-2023. So if you click on that, you'll see the work and here's that, uh, I called it computer lab vision a while ago, but it's computer lab slash leadership vision. And it's right here too. So either way, we'll get you into the work, all right? So again, as soon as I clicked on that OneDrive here, it showed me right here my files, computer lab, your grade level, and it's right there. But either way, I just found it right away in my homepage of my sign-in. So anyways, here's our work, and so you've got to go ahead and fill it in. So how do you fill it in? Well, you got to click in the spaces. You can delete, okay, and put your name. You can either also I'm going to push undo here on the left undo is our best friend I could also uh, click and drag and start typing my name right of course I'm not putting name you're gonna put your real name and so I don't want to put the name of the student here but you get the idea you want to put your grade you want to put your teacher and I put um, all your teachers names here on the right hand side so from third all the way to fifth grade you should see your teachers name if you don't I'm sorry I apologize but um, yeah, just ask and I'll help you out. Then you'll see a word bank of a lot of, um, I think, words, whether they're positive or I think they're positive for the most part. There might be some negative words and you'll see why here in a second. But we're using these words or your own to fill up the bottom portions. So right here it says, the first section says, let's talk about the positive things to do more at Alameda. And so overall, um, because this is like a vision plan and ideas that we want to get what do we want to see more in Alameda in your classroom and computer lab wherever you are in Alameda do you want to see more um, working do you want to see more helping okay type it in 
Now I'm typing it in a basic way, but if you want to get fancy, some of you really know how to use this stuff. We've been doing it for a while. And so if you click and drag, highlight your word. Okay, let me do that again. Click and drag. Right away, if I let go, sometimes the window pops up here. If the window doesn't pop up here, you have options up here either way. And so what I mean by is you can click here. This is our fonts or the names of the styles. And you should see different options pop up. Okay, not too many to get to start with, but if you want to make the letters bigger, you can. Where most of you will spend your time is probably the color of the letters. And so if you want to change the coloring, you can. You just have to click these little arrows and click your color. And there you go. If you want to make it even fancier, let me click and drag. There's even a highlighter. Okay. And then some of you can even explore even more options, right? Maybe you don't want to just do text, words. Maybe we want to put in a picture of, of seeing more helping. So insert, picture. And I like to use this when it says Bing Pictures. It's kind of like a Google search, but it's called Bing. So we click on Bing. Let's type helping. Let's, I don't know, let's see what we get for helping. And look, we get all kinds of things, right? And so maybe I like this one. Click on the picture, press insert. Now, if some of your pictures don't work right away, sometimes, for example here, this one's not even working right away. Let's see if we can backspace and delete that. Sometimes we gotta try it more than one. Let's see if this one works. Yay, that one worked, okay? So I'm glad I got to show you what happens if it doesn't work versus what it does. And now you see how stuff gets pushed down. I wouldn't worry about it. If you like it this size, leave it this size. If you want to shrink it, use the corners, right? To make it go up and down, okay? And fit it to however you like, all right? And so use the word bank. I'm not going to do all of this for the student because I'm already <laughs> Uh, saving it as I were this student but anyways um, what do we want to hear more in Alameda what do we want to do more in Alameda what do how do we want to feel more in Alameda right do we want to feel more proud do you want to feel successful do you want to feel happy right put it in or find a picture that represents and then the same for this negative section let's talk about uh, the negative things to do less at Alameda right what do we want to do less at Alameda well I want to see less arguing less fighting, yes, less yelling, right? And again, I could do insert. <clears throat> Sorry, not drawing. Let me go save and close. Now you could do though and try some of these other features if you like, but we kind of stick to the basics here. Let me just put in a fun picture. Hopefully it works, right? And there you go. See less arguing, hear less what? Hear less yelling do less what do less here's one right bad words feel less unhappy feel less sad right so fill this out your way your style it's already saved the minute you start typing it says here in the corner saved it's saved into your OneDrive you can have access to this for as long as you're a student with LCPS, all right? So let's see what those visions, what kind of visions you can come up with, Panther, Panthers. Kinders all the way to fifth graders are doing this in some shape or form. Can't wait to see what you come up with. I'll see you in class. Bye for now, Panthers.